made pretty good progress yesterday that's the uh, about 90% completed project there after looking at it I've decided I probably don't need any overflow pipes on the top of that thing I've got a pretty good uh, swell going on there with the rock in the mortar pretty good back wall there on the right hand side keep the water from blowing over it and then we'll have a big old pile of dirt on the back side of them rocks too I think today though only got a couple hours I'm gonna try to get this water line plumbed into the cistern uh, just to have that done and keep my cistern from potentially floating if we get another significant rain event so we've got these things called bulkhead fittings We drill a hole in the side of the cistern there. Put this guy in it. He's got a rubber gasket. Stick it in the hole. Tighten her up. And then you screw your 2 inch PVC fitting in there. Glue your pipe up. We'll have one of these for an inlet. One for an outlet. And then I've got a smaller one that I'm going to use for a vent that uh, we'll get these put in. Well, I got so excited I forgot to turn the camera on. Let me show you our first uh, bulkhead fitting. Go home, square bad boy in there, put your PVC adapter on it, and done. Now remember, you always want your any Higher than your Audi. Now we've already installed the inlet side that'll be piped off of the hill. The one we're putting in now will be the outlet side. This will be the overflow. After it fills up the cistern, it'll overflow out this end into a little stream. Now we're getting ready to install our inlet piping. At the beginning of the video I showed you where I had it coming out from underneath my little catch basin. Well now we're going to plumb all this in, tie it into the cistern so we can introduce some water to it. show you a couple of things here. Valves are your friend. You can never have too many valves. Of course, having a Navy background, there's about a million valves aboard ship. I like valves. You've also got a valve with a slip coupler, with a coupler. You glue one end on the pipe, glue the other end on the other pipe, and then you've got a spot where you can break the line or break the pipe apart easily if you need to. And you've got a valve. I like those a lot. And you got a regular couple, no valve, but operates the same way. Pull one into a pipe, the other into a pipe, and you've got a place to break the pipe apart easily. We're going to have lots of couplers and valves in this system because in case I need to do anything to the cistern, I need to stop the flow of water upstream and divert it into the creek. So uh, we'll have some couplers and valves installed because eventually I'll have a lot of sediment traps While we're installing the inlet side here, take this opportunity to apologize for a couple things. The noise in the background from the excavator 
It's pretty annoying. It makes the voices hard to hear. Hadn't quite figured out how to filter that out yet. And then also, I did not realize my camera was on such a wide angle view. That makes the screen pretty annoying to look at. I'll do better next time. Now we're going to attach our last stretch of pipe here from where it comes out from underneath the catch basin and introduce it to the cistern. For right now, I'm using some rubber fern co fittings. I'll come back later and glue in some couplers, not unions, couplers. And there you see water was introduced. And I'll eventually come back and cover all this up with dirt. That way it doesn't freeze in the wintertime. And that's done. We got it overflowing there right now. All right, let's hook that. We're gonna introduce some water to it. about two hours for roughly 500 gallons so carry the one at three looks like about four gallons a minute I am okay with that well what are coming out the end there my buddy that's helping me today is complaining about being cold I'm over here shedding clothes. It's different between manual labor and non-manual labor. The valve I'm getting ready to work on here is going to be part of the bypass system. Water's coming in on your left there from the catch basin on the hill. And that valve is in place so that when it's shut, Water runs out that piece of pipe before it goes into the cistern. It bypasses the cistern. That way, if I need to do any cleaning or any maintenance on the line or just general purposes, I've got a valve there I can shut off. We've got water to our cistern. The cistern is full. Pretty good day. Now we've got to do is hook up our pump, get that water in the pipe, and we'll have water done in the camper. Be ready to move in before you know. Until next time, be well, my friend.